Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. Today we're back with another video because we're finally at a break point between all our back-to-back -back midterms. If you're new here, I'm Mark. And I'm Andrew. And we're both currently seniors in the Haas undergraduate business program at UC Berkeley, also each doing simultaneous degrees in mechanical engineering. So since a lot of people are applying to the business undergraduate program at this point in around mid-November, we wanted to share our experiences applying and getting in through the continuing student application process. First, we'll talk about why we applied, then we'll talk about why we think we were admitted, and then end with some tips for you. We were admitted as freshmen studying mechanical engineering, but we're always drawn to the more strategic side of the major. We've always found ourselves drawn to public speaking, leadership, fundraising for our schools, and generally starting things, like this YouTube channel. We also saw business as a way to increase the impact that we could have with mechanical engineering and uh, also a shortened path to leadership. So when we reframed our perspectives and looked at what we were studying like that, it really made a lot of sense to combine those two different majors. If you're unfamiliar, every UC Berkeley student interested in business applies to the business program in their first semester of their sophomore year. Applications open November 1st and close on November 30th. And the breakdown of how people are admitted is 50% grades, 35% essays, and 15% resume. The admissions rate for the year that we were admitted, fall 2017, was about 33%. And that's already from the self-selecting pool of UC Berkeley students, so it's actually pretty competitive to get in. And everyone we know who was admitted to the program put a significant amount of effort into their application. To briefly touch on grades, for grades you'll see that the average GPA of admitted continuing students is 3.68, but the middle 80% is 3.34 to 3.96. I think what one admissions officer told us was obviously your average GPA is going to, like your cumulative GPA is going to be different if you're studying a really difficult major than if you're studying a really uh, a relatively easier major. What an admissions officer told us they look at the most is the grades in the uh, core prerequisites, so UGBA 10, Econ 1, and Stats 20, since those are kind of constant between all applicants. All right, next we're talking about essays. This was the most daunting part for me because it's so open-ended. You have one essay where there's a required prompt and one essay where you can choose between two different prompts. But from our experience, the Berkeley Haas undergraduate program really values their four cultural pillars or values. And these are confidence without attitude, question the status quo, student always, and beyond yourself. It seems that they're looking for evidence of those in their applicants. I think the essays are a way to show a part of yourself that's not covered in other aspects of the application, like your resume, extracurriculars, and grades. We saw the essay as a way for the Haas admissions office to see who would contribute the most to the community once they, uh, once they were admitted. So for us, we mainly tried to highlight our individual strengths, so being engineering students as well, and then also starting a student speaker series in the College of Engineering. Also, we found it useful to focus on one key story from the past and then connect it to what we're doing in the present and also what we want to individually do in the future. And it was hard because we could, it, like, it's easy, as you probably know, to talk about all the different things that you've done in the past, but that doesn't do service to you reflecting and showing why specifically one experience shaped you. I think that's something that we probably could have done better on in our undergrad applications when we were first applying and something that we took into account applying to Haas as sophomores because it's kind of like the undergrad application again. So we focused on one specific story per general story per application prompt, tied it to what we're doing now, and then did that all in a sort of story-like format that allowed the admissions committee to visualize what it was like if they were actually in the room when that situation was happening with us. Two more tips for the essay. The first, be vulnerable, and the second, show interest. I think at the end of one of my essays I even put, and that's why I'm so excited to be applying to Haas, which maybe it's a little cheesy, but I think it's important to show interest however you do it. I actually did that as well. I think that last okay. line for one of my essays was, and that's why I'm so excited to be applying to Haas. So onto the resume. For the resume, write down your key involvements ever since you started 
um, undergrad at Berkeley, and then focus on what you specifically did and frame it around the impact that was made through those actions. Quantify as much as you can. So was there a specific percentage increase on some metric that was related to what you were involved in? Or did some, like a certain group of students' grades go up because you were tutoring them? Or did a certain number of people show up to an event that you planned and then that's how you're quantifying impact? That makes it a lot easier for the admissions committee to see what the actual effect of your involvement was on the community that you're involved in. Also, I attended the info session for undergraduate students hosted by the admissions office this fall, and they said that your extracurriculars, your leadership, it doesn't have to come in a traditional form. So it doesn't matter if you're not a leader in a certain club, if you're taking on a job outside of school and that's taking up your time, write that down as well. It seems they're trying to understand you as a whole person, not you as just the person who's interested in business. If you drew a timeline between where you have been in the past two years and where you hope to go, there should be a clear reason why Haas belongs in the middle of it. Why do you need this business education to help you realize your goals? And how do those goals make an impact on others beyond you? Another thing is you don't have to be interested in the traditional business roles of accounting, banking, and consulting to be admitted. Both of us were not involved in any of the traditional business clubs on campus, and we were even rejected from a handful of those business clubs. I think it's important to really understand what do you value and then go after that and then showcase that in your application. From being in the undergraduate business program, I've seen people who are interested in mixing business with a variety of different fields like sports education, music, technology, and then all the traditional things. Whatever you're interested in, you can apply business to it and that's why I think it's been really valuable to us. Also, the only way to ensure that you don't get in is to not apply. So I would encourage everyone who's watching this to submit an application if you're eligible and you're interested. Best of luck to everyone currently going through the application process. Make sure to take time for yourself. And if you have any further questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll get back to you before that application deadline. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.